Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Mephisto. Now he's not a new champion, but he's a pretty good champion. I just recently took him up to rank 4. I had a gem, there was a level up event going on, had to do it. Alright, let's take a look at his synergies first. He has a synergy with Dormammu, and he gains, as well as Dormammu, 80% uh, energy resistance while taking damage over time. This next one here is with Morningstar. And Mephisto will start with one soul at the beginning of the fight. But it's this last synergy that I'm most interested in. It is with Ghost Rider or Doctor Strange. And Mephisto will gain 70% incinerate damage. That is huge. So we're going to play around with that synergy a little bit later in the video. All right, let's uh, take a look at his attributes. He's rank four. So bear that in mind. You can see the champion tags and take a look at his attributes here. Switch over to percentages. All right, so not terrible, not, not too bad. All right, now let's take a look at his abilities. Now, his signature ability basically just gives him more chances to fire off his incinerate aura. That's what it does. Uh, we can take a look at that right quick here. All right, so there's his awakened ability from my four star. Um, so he has a chance to activate his aura for four seconds. All right, that's pretty much all that that does. All right, so let's get into his abilities. So he has persistent charges. These are going to follow him from fight to fight as he wins his fights. All right, he starts a quest with three of these soul charges and more about what those do a little later. Um, but he will gain each one, as I mentioned. Uh, he'll gain one every time he defeats an opponent. And he has a max of six. All right. Now, here's where that can come in handy. When he goes below 30% health, each of those charges are consumed and he regenerates health per charge. So 2,302.9 at the moment each charge multiply that times a max of six he's getting back a lot of health if he has all six soul charges with him all right take a look at his passive now when he starts the fight he imprisons their soul now that can be very useful that means no buffs are going to be activated by your opponent at the start of the fight for 15 seconds. So, for example, we have Colossus, no armor up buffs in the beginning. He's gonna have to, after 15 seconds, start regening those. I mean, uh, you know, redoing his buffs. Then you've got Medusa. Well, you're not gonna have to worry about her uh, living strands because she won't be able to get the Fury charges. So, it's actually quite a useful passive. It makes a lot of fights that might be a little bit difficult. They turn into just regular fights with him. Uh, he also generates 12% of a bar of power per second instead of taking incinerate energy damage. So if he goes into a situation where um, he's going to take incinerate damage, he's going to be gaining uh, power instead. Uh, he's also immune to frostbite and cold snap. Now I remember fighting against him with Iceman. I was like, okay, uh, Iceman should, you know, do well. But remember what we just said, that soul imprisonment. So I wasn't paying attention and I pushed him to a special three and got wrecked because my ice armor wasn't up because of the soul imprisonment. It was not a good day. Let me tell you. Uh, he's also immune to poison. 
So he's actually quite a useful champion. Now, this aura of incineration, remember when he's awakened, he has a chance to proc this, but you are going to get an aura of incineration. Uh, when it's active, he's going to generate power while it's active. If you ever fought him, you'll notice that when he activates that aura, he is gaining power. So if you had him at, you know, almost three bars of power and he activates his aura, he goes right to a special three. Not a fun time. All right. And here are his special attacks. So the first one is how you can renew or activate the soul imprisonment. You know, so if they're already imprisoned and you fire the special one off within uh, 15 seconds of the start of the fight, it's just going to go ahead and refresh that uh, soul imprisonment. Um, it also incinerates the opponent dealing damage. Okay. Um, it also removes perfect block chance and reduces their block proficiency. More damage. The special attack two is one of the ways you activate your aura of incineration. All right. Now that aura of incineration, you've already heard what it does, you know, other than doing damage, you also gain power as well. Uh, it'll last for eight seconds off of that special two. Now the special three, you will drain up to two bars of power from your opponent. And the way it reads, it says, if the maximum amount is drained, the maximum amount is two bars of power. That might seem obvious to you, but it's not obvious to everyone. All right, so if you push them to a special three and you fire your special three off, it's gonna drain them two bars of power. So they're still gonna have one bar of power left, but it will also activate Mephisto's aura of incineration for the entire rest of the fight. So you have three ways to proc this aura of incineration. The first is if he's awakened, he has a chance to proc it. The second way is the special attack two, which will activate it for eight seconds. And the third way is to fire off a special attack three when they have two bars of power or more, and you will activate your aura and it will last for the rest of the fight. So we're gonna play around with that in a moment here and see what it looks like. All right, so here's the team that I decided to go in here with. Um, I've activated only two of his synergies. Uh, we'll refresh your memory here. Uh, the first synergy is going to be that Morning Star. He's going to have one soul extra at the start of the fight. And the next one is the Ghost Rider synergy, where he's going to have more damage, 70% uh, increase to his incinerate damage. Um, I got a request when I was talking about making a video on Mephisto. I got a request in to make sure I included that synergy. All right, so start of the fight, you can see he's got uh, four charges. Remember, he starts with three, but because of the synergy, he got an extra one. And you can see the soul imprisonment over there. I'm gonna build up to a special one. And here we go. And look at that, it just refreshed. All right, so I was mentioning that earlier. Um, you can keep them locked down by spamming your special one doesn't make him very suicide friendly if you do it that way but that is a way to lock them down and if they had a permanent buff well that can get rid of it unless it refreshes on them all right so that's the special two activates that aura so now you can see the damage so you see 477 incinerate damage uh i don't know if it's affected by my suicides uh, but I am running suicides, but it is affected by that synergy, the Ghost Rider synergy. So 477 with the Ghost Rider synergy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 
until I can get him to two bars of power. You see how he was so quick to fire off his special one? And I was thinking at this point, I'm like, oh, please, Winter Soldier, do not do this. You know, he, he will act like that sometimes. But here we go. We were able to build him up to a special two or at least two bars of power. And now I should have a permanent aura of incineration. And I drained his two bars of power. All right. So uh, you can see I have an aura of incineration up and it's doing the same 477. Now, for the rest of the fight, I'm kind of playing around, just showing you, like, you see how fast we got to a special three? I wanted to show you that power gain. Because remember, um, not only did you get a permanent aura of incineration, but you also got power gain. So I've got power gain for the rest of the fight and aura, look at my power. All right, so I can spam specials like crazy, but of course I'm running suicide, so I don't want to do that. All right, so here I decided to fire off a special two because I didn't want to fire off a special three again. All right, but something that I wanted you guys to notice, I have two auras of incinerate, they stack, and it does make a difference in the damage. Remember, he does 477 uh, damage, all right? And if you watched, you'd see his damage went up. So at this point, we're closing in on the end and I just wanted to get hit below so that I activated that regen, but of course he's hitting me and put a bleed on me. And so I didn't regen all the way up as much as I could have. All right, but right now I'm just gonna have fun, throw off the specials. You see, I've got two auras. And then see, 953. Remember, it was 477 when I had just one aura up. All right, see, it's back to 477. We fire that off again. Um, it was into his block, but you can still see the damage that the two auras they stack um, will do. All right, so in a minute here, we're gonna fire off our special two again and die. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Do you like Mephisto? He's pretty cool. No pun intended. And you all have a blessed day.